there. How you doing out there in YouTube land? Here is a little quick little video. Did I say quick video? No such thing as a quick video with me. Uh, I ordered um, on eBay uh, two of these, Kingston. I've used Kingston before and they're very good brands. Um, but I can't see where they're t class 10. They're in the auction. Uh, buy it now, of course, is the only way I go. Uh, it says class 10. 16 gig. Price was good. I think it was like uh, about $6 each. Um, micro SD with the um, adapter, of course, because that seems to be the only way you can get these things now. Uh, let me try to get in here. And, of course, I don't know how close I'll be able to get. But I'm going to try to hold this steady. Don't you ever get an itch on your face when you're trying to do something? I get it all the time. All right. I can't read anything on that, and I'm using magnifiers on top of magnifiers, and I don't see anything on that that's class 10. Maybe I'll see it when I play back the video. Sixteen gigabyte, hundred megabytes per second. Uh, don't say anything about class ten at all. But I've used these before. But I don't remember the seller that I bought my first ones for, and I've used. I had two of those I bought last year, but like I say, I don't think it's the same seller. But they look the same. But I really don't know how these will work because they don't say class 10 on them. The ones I got last year from another seller on eBay did say class 10. So let's uh, go in the back here and look. Maybe you'll see something I don't see. Really don't know. Okay, on another subject, yesterday I had Tommy shut down his computer and I hooked up my kilowatt right here. I have two of these. One is in the shop that's on the wall at all, all times. Monitor my line voltage. And this one here, which is brand new. But anyways... Um, to my surprise, using this, I'll tell you what results that I've got on his computer, because Jim Asbell, as many, as, as well as many others have suggested, put your kilowatt meter on it, and that'll give you what the volt amps are, what the wattage is, and the amperage, and I've got those figures. So let me write them down, and I'll be right with you. Okay, I'm not the greatest for writing out on paper, okay? With varying readings, okay? I had Tommy shut down his computer. After it completely shut down, I pulled the power to his monitor, which was on an outlet strip, and his computer, which is on the same output strip, and I plugged that in to the kilowatt here, and then I plugged the kilowatt in the active output terminal that goes directly to the wall on the UPS that don't work now. In other words, it's used as a surge protector only. Okay, so... His hard drive continuously goes for quite a while. Uh, that's just the way his computer is. He wasn't doing anything on it. Okay, so here are the results. I let the computer come up. It took uh, about five minutes 
for everything to come up fully, the desktop, the show, uh, maybe maybe three to five minutes, okay? And I was watching these readings. So I was getting a variation uh, a little below and maybe 1.1 amps and 0.97 amps. I was getting a variation on the volt amperes from 125 or thereabouts. It varied. It went up and down to as much as 147 volt amperes. Okay. Now, this is for both the computer and his 26-inch flat screen monitor. I believe that's what it is. Okay. Okay. He was getting a variation between 98 and 105 watts. So, with these readings here, a small UPS of 225 watts is more than enough to run his computer. Again, I got to keep telling these people that comment, the UPS does not run your computer all day. I know that. I know that it runs the computer long enough to let you shut it down properly. Okay, so, um, one of my viewers had suggested uh, somebody that refurbishes uh, and sells refurbished UPSs without the battery. Uh, all that seller has is Technonics oscilloscopes. That's what I got. I asked for a link, I never got it, so I'm going to deal with Amazon. I do not want to buy the Amazon brand, they have a name for it, that is not a, it's a UPS, but it has very bad ratings. I want to get a UPS that is made by APC or Triplight. Uh, those are good brands. So, he don't need a huge, even the one he's got now that's, not working because it's not charging the battery. He does not need a big UPS. Um, it's also suggested um, that he needs more RAM in his computer. And Crazy Painter 1000 had offered some RAM, but I got to take his computer out, clean out the dust because it hasn't been done in a couple of years. Uh, and unhook everything. It's a, it's a job. you got to stretch behind there and plug everything in. And it's a very hard, crowded area. And that's why we don't do it too often. When I do that, I'll pull it outside on the bench and outside and blow it out with that air, uh, that blower that I bought at flea market. That'll be much, much better than keep charging up my tiny air compressor all the time and blow it out and then I'll check the RAM. Just for the record, Tommy's computer, I don't know, he's at work, I, he, he knows the model number, I don't, I'm not going to pull it out just to read the model number off of it. Uh, I'll do that when I pull it out to begin with. Uh, but he has a Dell, refurbished Dell, Windows 7, not Windows 10, Windows 7, 32-bit. So, a 32-bit computer will only take a certain amount of RAM. I don't know what he's got in there for RAM right now. His computer's off. I'll let him turn it on. Then I can go in and, and do a properties on the C drive, and it'll tell me how much RAM he's got in it. I don't know if he's got 2 gigs of RAM or 4 gig, but I know we don't have more than 4. I do know that. His is a 32-bit system. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that. And I'll get back to you, uh, Crazy Painter 1000. If you got RAM, I'll buy it from you. But, um, again, it's something that's very hard for me to see. To get in there, sometimes it's very difficult to get in there and get the RAM out. I don't want to screw his computer up. I've done RAM before in computers. It's nothing new to me. Uh, however, I uh, want to make very sure that I get the right RAM. There's so much of it. And when you buy it online, you don't really know what you're getting. So that's the story there. 
So I figured I'd put these this information out there. And of course, the Kingston card. One more look at it. I don't know if it's focused. My eyes, I can't see the viewfinder here, but I'm, I'm probably about an inch away from the card. I'll try to get a little closer here. Maybe you can see something I don't. There's other numbers and symbols on there that mean nothing to me. Um, as long as they're not a class four, they should be okay. I don't think there's any such thing as a class four. Uh, 16 gig anyways and as I said so many times before I buy 16 gig cards I don't really go over that um, rather have smaller cards rather than larger ones but these are just for anything that I get I get something that needs a micro SD that's what I use uh, so that's the story there folks <clears throat> I just wanted to make a video on this, um, and I did want to run that information here on the on Tommy's computer. And from what the readings are that I got from my kilowatt, it is much lower than I thought. Now, however, I really don't know if these readings will go up much higher when it's his computer is actually doing video rendering that I do not know but I am sure that these readings are not going to double in other words if he's th these readings I got was when his computer was starting up the hard drive was still going it's quite active and goes for quite a while you know, as a matter of fact, it's almost non-stop. It's like it's always doing something, even though he's not on the computer. Okay? It could be doing updates. I have no idea. So I am positive that these readings will not double if he is doing video rendering. I don't know this. Because I, I'm not about to put the kilowatt meter on his computer while he is doing video editing. There is not room enough for two of us in that room. <laughs> Me down on my knees with the kilowatt and he's sitting at the desk. There is not that much room. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, he can look at it, but you have to push, you have to push buttons on the kilowatt. And I have to play around with these buttons here in order to uh, use it. And I stumble around until I get my magnifying glass and see where it says watts and also volt amps. The VA is way over to the right here, just barely can be visible. So, um, you know, but I am sure, as I said, and I'm going to end this video now on this note, that this is the readings he is getting and these are the variables that I got from startup to desktop when it was all done but the hard drive was still accessing stuff and there he was not doing anything on the computer just the desktop came up after about three to five minutes because it takes a while for his computer to come up. And uh, and that's it. So these numbers were varying all over the place. It was like uh, uh, 0 0.98 watts to 105, 107, thereabouts. And the volt amperes was varying, you know, all over too. But I'm guessing that it's about the peak is about 147 volt amperes. So, uh, and approximately one amp of current, and these are readings that I got from both his computer and his monitor. They're both plugged into the um, 
kilowatt. Okay, folks, I'm going to end this video now. This is HD, so this will take me at least two hours to render. Let me know. Thank you very much. Have a good day, everybody.